Thanks, Jobber, for sponsoring today's video, but more on them later. So if you're like me, then I bet you like options, right? Imagine a world where like everybody's driving the same Honda Civic, the white Honda Civic. That's all they have. That's it. Like it doesn't matter. You want a truck? You, they, they don't exist. Could you imagine a world like that? Going to the grocery store, there's only cornflakes. That's it. There's just cornflakes. There's no fruity pebbles. There's no other options. That's all you get. You like options, right? Well, I'm gonna lay you in on a secret that I've been doing now for a while. A lot of other companies do this, but I don't think a lot of painters are doing it. I've been doing it now for about a year and I've definitely seen my clothes rates increase and my income increase because of it. And it's real simple. All you gotta do is give them options. Imagine a customer, they have an idea in their mind. They usually have a budget when they're calling you out for an estimate. That's kind of the game, right? You're like wondering what they're willing to spend and what it's gonna take you to do the work. You come up with your price and the price is the price, but there is some room to wiggle and it's better to do it in the beginning than it is at the end. So what I like to do when I give estimates for my people, I got a three step process, right? I get the lead. I go out and I meet the person to meet the prospect. Hello, Mr. Prospect. Nice to meet you. How can we help you today? What are you looking to do? So they walk, we walk around the house. We talk about the house. I point out a couple trouble areas so I can set expectations. And then I go and I build the estimate. Now, what I like to do with the estimate is normally I can figure out what they're looking for during the warm up phase when I'm walking around the house with them for about 15, 20 minutes, right? I figure out kind of what their buying motives are, what's going to make them want to choose me. On top of it all, giving them options is like so powerful and it works. So I want to share that with you guys today. What I like to do is I write up my estimate. Now the labor is going to stay the same. You're not going to do less work. You're not going to do a, a crappier job, right? It's it's the quality of work is going to stay the same. Basically what it comes down to is the different options will have different types of warranties and different types of products that you're going to apply. If a customer wants options, say, let's say it's a $5,000 uh, small little repaint job. Well, you can give them a price for 5,000, 7,000 or like 4,000. The thing is, most of the time they're going to pick the middle of the road. But more often than not, they pick the higher price. They never go for the lowest price. Now I'll give them a six month warranty on the paint job for the lowest price. I'll give them a two year warranty on the middle price. I'll give them a five year warranty on the top most expensive price. On top of that, the paint grade changes over the different tiers as well. So the low tier, you're going to have a cheaper bottom shelf paint that's still a good paint it's not a bad paint but when i go into the paint store to buy paint there's some paint that's really expensive and some paint that's not it's all good some's better than others and that's kind of why i like to give them the option so the warranty always determines the price and then the product determines the price not only the paint is all the other products that i'm going to apply there's different grades of caulking that i like to use for different projects i prefer to use the best caulking but you know, not every customer wants the best. Sometimes you get into a situation, it's a small job, maybe the money's not there. And me, being in the service industry, really what it comes down to is I'm here to help people out. Of course, I wanna get paid for my time and my effort, but overall, the main thing is to help. They're having a problem, I wanna go in there and I wanna solve the problem, whatever it is. And painting is not just a vanity thing. Painting is also important to protect the wood, to protect the building materials that are holding that house up. So if I could help you guys out today, let me tell you, figure out what your pricing is for the contractor grade paint, for the professional grade paint, and for the premium grade paint. If they even have like paint that has gold flakes in it, get pricing on that too. Talk to your paint rep because you could probably get some special pricing on certain types of paint. And also it helps you out dive in to what you're selling the most. If you're not selling the top end premium high end paint and say like you're only given one price, but you always use premium products. Now you don't have to use the super premium paint, right? Cause maybe it's not worth it at that, at that price point. So if you learn anything from this video today, this is just a quick short video. And when I went and got my daughter's uh, quote for her tires, they gave me, obviously they gave me three different prices. There was a 500, a 600 and an $800 price for the different tires. Of course, it's my daughter's car. So I'm going to get her to the $800 pair. It's getting ready to get really stormy and windy and wet. And I want her to have the best traction available. So basically what it comes down to is me as a customer, I appreciate the different options. It shows me and it fits inside my budget. For instance, if I went out to a prospect's house and I met the prospect and I only gave them one estimate, but it was way above their budget. It was, the, it was closer to the six grand instead of the four grand. Well, they might be inclined to call a couple more paint companies to see if they can get that, that price down lower. And what could also happen is you could lose the job because they found someone that's going to do it for pretty close to your price. Maybe they're doing it for 5,500, but it's still lower than your six grand price. 
And then all worse than that, you know that other guy's not going to do as good of a job as you were going to do on that project. And he's probably not going to offer him a warranty either. So I don't know. All around, it's better to give options because then the customer doesn't have to seek a lower price somewhere else. They can just use your lower price. Thus, cl your close rates are going to go up. I haven't used that word thus in a long time. Put thus in the comment section if you also haven't used that word in a long time. I just want to let you guys know, all of my estimates that I send out, I send out using Jobber. Jobber's great, it has a mobile app and it also works on desktop, so I can use it at home in the office, I can use it in the field when I'm on the go. So Jobber actually released a new feature, it's um, online booking and it'll really help you save a lot of time on your admin. And they keep on delivering updates all the time. The latest update, you can also get online bookings and it'll help minimize your time on the road and it'll save you uh, fuel and gas. And then it also has a drive time feature enabled. And the, the booking system is cool because what it does is it takes historical traffic patterns and it only will offer the homeowner time slots that are near other jobs that are scheduled. Because one of the hardest part of scheduling is trying to plan your route out so everybody can be like on the route and you're not going back and forth to one side of town to the other side of town. So I love that feature. So if you want to make more money, save more money on admin time, fuel and gas, check out the top link in the description below for a special offer. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.